Hey guys, Coach T here, and it's time to talk money. Today, I just want to talk to you a little bit about your relationship with money. Money, just like everything else, you have a relationship with it. If you frequently interact with anything, whether it's people, a place, an individual somewhere, a business, then you have some sort of a relationship with it, and you probably have a feeling that's attached to that relationship. Money's no different. And the better we understand our money and the better we understand how we relate to our money, the better our relationship with our money is going to be. I got four quick topics I'm gonna hit you with today and we're gonna talk about quick hit, easy things that we can implement into our financial lives and it's going to empower us and do so much for our, for our financial lives. First things first, how much money do you really have? A lot of people think eh, it's just my paycheck and I know how much taxes comes out, I know what I bring home. It's a very, very, very important part of your money. But the other part is, where are you spending it? You know, we pay our bills and we do other things and we think, yeah, I've got plenty of money left over. Then we buy a $10 coffee. Then we buy our brother a $10 coffee. And then we buy our kids a slushie. And before you know it, money's being spent in places that you didn't really think about and you didn't plan for. And you start to kind of wonder, where the heck is all your money? Doing a quick exercise, taking your statement, breaking it down, or using your app, and just taking 30 days worth of transactions and just identifying them, writing them down, and now add them up. Once you've done that exercise, I promise you, you're going to feel great about where your money is and you can make some adjustments. But that's a huge part in, of relating to your money. Number two, what kind of person are you? Do you like to save money and stack it and watch it grow in your account? Or do you just like to spend it and spend it wherever you can? It doesn't matter which one you are. I do believe in saving, but I will tell you me personally, I used to think I was a saver, I'm not. I spend money. I like going to places, especially like those little dollar stores, and spend up 20 bucks in a heartbeat. It's not a bad thing, but if you know who you are, then you can plan for it, you can budget for it, and you almost feel like you've got more power over your money once you understand if you like to save it or spend it. Number three, what are your needs versus your wants? This is an easy one to understand and identify with. You've got things that you need, you got things that you want. If you're a young person and maybe you live at home, sometimes your wants really kind of identify how you spend your money because someone else, your parents or whoever, are kind of taking care of some of those needs. And that's great. If you're fortunate enough to be one of those people, don't spend all your money on your wants. Take a little bit, start tucking it away, saving it for a rainy day, and planning for your future years and years out. If you don't have that and you've got a lot of demands on your money, not a big deal, that's not a bad thing. But understanding what those things are, writing them down, shows you where you have flexibility and maybe we need to take some adjustments, make some adjustments and look at things that are costing us money and see if we can do some things different. Number four, set a goal. Nobody really wants to set goals, whether it's a fitness goal or a career goal, like it's hard work it feels like. If you don't have a goal, set a goal. If your goal is to be a millionaire in 20 years, I promise you we've got some great things in place to help you get there. If your goal is to build a house or buy a car or, or do something different, build a deck with a hot tub, great. Write it down and let's start planning for it. But knowing your goals, short term and long term, and then identifying with that and just writing them down. So just to recap, we got four things that are gonna be huge that's gonna help us have a great financial relationship. Number one, how much money do you really have? You know how much you get paid, but now know where you're spending it. Number two, are you a spender or are you a saver? Are you a nerd or are you just free willy? There's no right and there's no wrong. It's just who you are. The better you know, the better off you're going to be. What are your needs and what are your wants is number three. But you can identify your needs and then start planning for the wants. And I promise you, everything you want, you'll be able to achieve. Everything you need will be taken care of. And then lastly, number four, short-term and long-term goals. Doesn't matter what they are, just have one. If a short-term goal is what you're in, in the market for, then do it. If a long-term goal is something that you're more comfortable with, set it. But write them down and just have a plan. You do that, you're going to have some great success. I appreciate the time, guys. Thanks for coming in. And remember, Coach T told you, if it don't make money, then it don't make sense.